Hi, I'm Jared. Welcome to Fun Science Demos. You know, if you stop and think about it, you can find science almost anywhere. In fact, there's a lot of science in a simple blown up balloon. Watch what happens when I let it go. It flies away. Well, what kind of science is at work there? Now, it took a force to make this balloon move. And a force is a push or a pull. So that means the balloon was pushing against this table. It was pushing against the air. It was even pushing against the pull of gravity. Forces at work. Well, we decided to use the forces at work in this balloon to create a design challenge. And just like this balloon had to push against this table and the air and the pull of gravity, Rockets have to push against the ground and push against the air and push against the pull of gravity. Now, most rockets have two sets of engines to get the rocket past the pull of gravity. In this case, I only had one balloon or one part of my rocket. For our design challenge, we're going to try connecting two different balloons together to act like a two-stage rocket. Now, balloons come in all different shapes and sizes, and we've experimented again and again to find out which balloon works best for this design challenge. And we figured out that the medium-sized, longer balloons tend to work best, but that doesn't mean you can't try all the different shapes. It was a lot of fun, and I think we're ready to actually show you how this works. To make our two-stage rocket, we need two balloons. Those balloons are going to be our power source, and to hold them together, all we're gonna need is a cup. It's a very simple building process. To start, I needed to cut a hole in the bottom of the cup, and you noticed I put tape around that hole because we found that those edges, those rough edges, would pop the balloon when we tried to pull the one balloon into the bottom of the cup. Simple process. So the next step is I have to blow a balloon up, and I like to stretch them out to make them easier to blow up. If you need an adult to help you blow it up, that works too. So here we go. That's the front part of my rocket, and now what I'm gonna do is pull it through the opening of the cup so that I stretch the end of that balloon and I can wrap it around the bottom part of the cup. Now what's gonna happen is I'm going to blow up the other balloon inside the cup and the force of the air pushing out should hold that balloon shut. I'm ready to go. So now I'm ready to blow up the second part of my rocket. Now remember, I'm holding this balloon with that finger and I'm gonna blow it up. And when I pinch it, look what happens. The force of the air pushing inside the orange balloon keeps the blue balloon shut. So think this through. What do you think will happen when I let go of the orange balloon? Well, as I let go of the orange balloon, the air inside the balloon makes the balloon get smaller, which should release the blue balloon, and I think I have a two-stage rocket ready to go. So I'm gonna walk you through slower so you can see how this works, and I'm going to hold on to our rocket. Now what's happening is the orange balloon is inflated so it's pinching the blue balloon so it's holding it, it's holding it steady. I'm gonna slowly let the air out of the orange balloon and you watch what happens when enough air leaves the balloon. You can see as the orange balloon deflated, it let the blue balloon go and we had our two-stage rocket. All right, we are set for launch. Let's see what happens. You are clear for takeoff. Here we go. Three, two, one. That was almost as cool as a real NASA liftoff. We actually blew our balloons back up so we could rebuild our two-stage rocket so we could talk about what happened. If you think about what you saw, I saw the first part of my rocket, the orange balloon, lift our rocket off the ground. And then when all the energy was out of that balloon, the blue balloon took over and flew even further. It's a two-stage rocket design that we built here in our classroom. Now we had a lot of fun with this design challenge because we tried all these different balloons. Well, why don't you try making a two-stage rocket and you try all these different balloons. Try a big balloon, try a small balloon and see which one works the best. You can time it to see which one stays in the air the longest, which one goes the highest, which one goes the furthest. It's a really cool design challenge that you can do with very simple materials. If you want to learn more about science or other design challenge ideas like this, check out our channel. Sometimes you just have to stop and try and wonder why. Thanks for watching.